Hi everybody, thanks so much for tuning into my channel yet again today. I wanted to pop in with another what's in my bag video. This one featuring my Gucci Marmont Mat Matelasse. <laughs> it's one of those bag names that like, I don't think I'm alone in this. It's very confusing as to how to pronounce it. But um, this bag doesn't get as much love on my channel because I got it in my pre-YouTube days. I also got it pre-loved on um, eBay. And so I've never really featured it before and I just thought I would show you what's in it really quickly because all of my other what's in my bag videos are on my larger tote bags like my Neverfull and my Longchamp. So, you know, normally day in, day out, I'm a tote girl. I like to bring everything. I like to be very prepared. And tonight, actually pretty much every time I go on the evenings, I bring a smaller bag. This one isn't even that small. I think this is the large size. So I still owe you like a what's in my bag, like in a really smaller evening bag. <laughs> but this is what I pack when I'm like paring it down from the tote. So let me see where I can prop this. Let me just take you through really quickly. There's one smaller interior pocket and I have just a lip gloss in there. I would normally have my phone in there too but I'm filming on my phone. And this lip gloss is the Victoria's Secret Velvet Matte Lip, like liquid lip stain, cream lip stain. But I'm loving this, I'm wearing it right now. It's creamy, but it's very pigmented. Okay, then I've got this little sunglass pouch. I got this at H&M because I just wanted more portable. You know, most of my sunglasses come with like big cases that take up, especially in a bag like this, they would take up all the room. So. Here are my shades I'm bringing tonight. These are by Le Specs. They're the pink Le Prince Aviators. And you guys know I love these. I wear them probably the most. They're just my favorite. And now that daylight savings time has happened, there will be sunlight, so I will need these tonight. Um, what else? Okay, if you've seen my other tote bags, this is kind of my essentials pouch that I keep everything in. And what I love about that system is I just transport this whole pouch into whatever bag I'm using, unless, of course, that bag is smaller than this. But anyway, the first thing in this pouch of my essentials is the Deborah Lippman Rich Girl Hand Cream. This is just such a ride or die for me. I've always loved it. It's got SPF in it, and more importantly, it's just really creamy, almost to the point of being oily. So if you're not into that, you might not love it, but I just love that moisturized feeling. Then I have a pack of tissues. I just feel like they always come in handy whether you need a quick napkin type item or somebody has a sneezing fit or whatever. I have a tampon, so you never know who might need it. I have Trident White in the Spearmint flavor. This is my favorite gum. Tums, because again, I like to be the mom in the group and like if anybody needs anything, I like to have it even when I have to pare down my what I'm packing. Then I've got this Renew Eye Drops for contact lenses. Sometimes in the dry California air, my contacts really act up. And then the last thing in here is my little mirror, which if you've seen any of my what's in my bags, you know I love this playing card mirror. It's so helpful. Just noticed my lipstick situation. It's so cute. It looks like playing cards and people always comment on it when I check my lipstick. You know, it's kind of an awkward moment when you're checking your lipstick because it almost feels I feel a little rude when I do it, but sometimes you gotta do it. And so that just is like a conversation piece. Um, then I have a little glossy lay pouch. Whoops. I don't always carry this in my purse, but to kind of help me pare down. I don't like having things randomly floating around my purse. I don't know why, it just it feels too messy. So I just threw a couple more essentials in here. I have my iPhone charger with a little tiny cord. And I have this little face spray. This one's by Ren. it probably won't focus, but this is an anti-pollution mist. So I like to protect my skin from all the pollution in the air. So that comes in handy and it also just keeps me feeling fresher, dewier, hydrated, er. <laughs> um, okay, then I've got my keys, which if you've seen before, you know I have them in this Louis Vuitton key clay, which is unfortunately Starting to show some damage there. But it has the rose ballerine interior and I love this piece. I also have like an emergency credit card in here and obviously all the keys that I'll need. Then, I kind of forget to show you guys this. This is like a little pouch. This one's actually from Coach. And I keep my business cards in the outside. And a lot of people ask me where I keep my change because usually I use this as my wallet 
and there's no place to put like coins in here. So I forget to show you this, but this is my little coin purse that I usually just keep change inside. I don't know why I was gonna try to show you. You believe me, there's quarters in here. Um, and then I also have a couple keychains hanging off. I have the clicker for my car, and I have this really cute star keychain that says Dale, which was my mom's name. I got this on Hollywood Boulevard. You can get such fantastically tacky souvenirs on Hollywood Boulevard, and I just love the pink star. I love that it was my mom's name, which is kind of hard to find because it's unusual. And um, so just seeing that makes me happy every time. And then, that's usually all that's in here, but when I'm just going out for the evening, I don't wanna bring my whole big honkin' wallet planner situation, which you know I'm obsessed with. I will just distill it down and bring my ID and some cash for the night. So that way I know I'm covered. I don't have to bring my whole usual thing and it just simplifies it. And this little backpack pouch keychain that I'm obsessed with, I got it at H&M. And I usually keep this clipped on the outside of my backpack to be super meta. <laughs> And in the front little pocket, I have a lucky penny. I was checking out at Trader Joe's one day and my total purchase came to $99.99. And I had $100 like budgeted for groceries that week, so I was paying the $100 bill. And then when the cashier gave me my penny back, he's like, obviously that's lucky because I've never had somebody spend $99.99. And I agreed with him. So I keep that penny here. And then I also have this cute little rock that I randomly, I want to say Nate probably picked it up and gave it to me. I don't know, but when we moved across the country, it was like a 12 day road trip and I had that rock with me the whole way and I felt like it kept us safe in a way. So I always keep it in here. Hi, honey. Do you want to come be on camera and say hi? They would love no, that. No. Come say hi. I'm shy. Come say hi. <laughs> no. Tell them hello for me. Sorry, Nate just got home, but he's being shy for some reason. Okay, anyway. I just like to bring this because it has my essentials in it. So in here I have my ride or die lip balm of all time that I just adore. It's the Agave Bite Lip Balm and it's so creamy and good and it's, it's completely changed my life because it's healed my chronically chapped lips. So I always have to have that or else I have a little meltdown. I have $5 of cash just kind of as an emergency, you never know. Like if I need a tib valet or something in a hurry. And then I have a little hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works. It's the vanilla buttercream, it smells so good. So this is like my cute little backpack and I just figured I'd just throw the whole thing in this purse since it doesn't take up much room. And that is it. That's all I could possibly need and more. So I still feel very prepared, but on the other hand, it's much, much less than I usually take and it gives my shoulder a break. So I just wanted to show you guys that and give you a new sense of what's in my bag, show you this cutie that doesn't get enough attention, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!